Hello everybody, Chris here, and I wanted to go over everything we're going to be discussing in this resource gathering RPG uh, course for the Godot engine. So we have our character with a tool equipped. We can change our tools out simply by clicking on the hotbar icons below. So being able to switch between a axe, a hammer, and a pickaxe. And we can use these tools to harvest uh, the nodes which are relevant. So a pickaxe, of course, being able to swing at a rock node. And you can see that when we harvest it, the uh, pickup rocks will come out. We can gather those as resources. Those get added to the inventory represented in the top left. If we gather other types of resources, those will be represented up there as well. So to harvest a tree resource, we need a normal axe. Note we're walking across a animated bridge here. So we're setting a lot of this up with tile maps and tile sets. Uh, some of these objects are just dragged into the scene with collision shapes and some scripts added to them, like the trees. So these trees are different from the other ones because they give us a different type of resource. So you can harvest five of those, pick them all up. Once again, being added to the inventory, we're able to walk across these bridges and go to different terrains. And then down here, of course, we can harvest more trees. Another thing I want to point out about uh, how we've set up the animations is that when we swap out a tool, uh, we can use the same animation if it's relevant. So we switch to a different tool and they can reuse the same animations because what we're changing is the position, rotation, and scale on the node rather than changing the animation on the tool itself. So that also saves in needing to animate some of the frames there. So that's basically the gist of what we're setting up in this project. Tile maps, tile sets, walkable player with animations, a hotbar and a resource item display, complete with a basic inventory and a camera that follows the player in this world set up mostly with tile maps and tile sets in the Godot 4 engine. So we'll go through every detail of setting up the scripts, creating our nodes, designing our game level in this series. If you want to pick up the final scripts or the final project complete with the game art, you can find the links in the description below. Or if you prefer, you can just follow along from scratch because we'll be covering all of the code in the videos and you can just follow along there. Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing all of you how to create a resource gathering RPG inside of the Godot engine. So if you've been following my channel, you know I did a similar video with Unity engine as well. So we're going to be recreating more or less the same project now in the Godot engine for those who prefer to use Godot and stuff. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using my own art pack, Gatherer's Exterior RPG Pack. It's not required to follow along, but it does have resource nodes, items you can pick up, tools you can use in order to harvest resource nodes and a character with a swing and walk animation that'll make it easier to uh, finish this tutorial. So if you'd like to pick that up, you can find the links to it in the description. I'll also have the finished project at the end of this tutorial for download as well. Once again, though, it's not required. You can basically use whatever art assets you want for the project. So if you are going to be using the art pack, download the artonly.zip version. Since we're not using the Unity engine, we only need the art assets to bring those into Godot. So inside the zip, we have the art folder. So what I'm going to do is bring this into the file system for our Godot project. So to get to the root folder of the Godot file system, find resources colon slash slash, right click on that and do open in file manager. So this brings us basically to where we have the project set up and we can create other folders we'd want in here. So I'm going to right click and create a new folder and I'm going to call this art. Let's double click into it. And now from whatever zip management tool you're using, whether that's 7-zip or WinRAR, uh, just drag the art folder into the project. So this is now an art folder listed within art. I'm going to rename this to be gatherers exterior so that we know what art pack we have set up inside of the art folder. If you double click into it, then you'll see all of the other folders and the other assets that you can use for your project. So now if we click back into Godot, Godot should automatically recognize all of the files we brought in, and then we'll be good to go. 